Welcome to the Russian space station. Don't touch anything. Uh, this is, uh, here, let me show you what we got here. So this is our uh, antenna that we're using uh, to capture the, the pulsar signal. Um, this is our first prototype. This is take two. Uh, so we're going to get this, uh, get the data, the signals, and then uh, we're going to process those signals. Uh, and hopefully we get the, um, uh, the pulsar signal with this antenna. Uh, next steps are if we don't capture it with this uh, reduced size antenna, uh, we'll uh, make a, um, a really big one to capture that. And uh, we'll try another prototype uh, of this, uh, this piece and then we'll cross-reference uh, those two signals against each other and hopefully find a pattern and find that uh, pulsar signal. And uh, yeah. So now that we got uh, our antenna all set up, uh, we're using our application um, to, this is an application that we made to process that signal and what you see here is a 1.1 uh, volt reference. It's obviously off because of fluctuations. Uh, and on the one on the bottom here, uh, this is the actual envelope. This is actually the, the, the signal that we're capturing using that antenna. Uh, at the same time in the background while we're doing this recording, uh, you see these values here. These are uh, pole stars. So we're using our trajectory si uh, simulation system and we're now looking, we're running it and we should see real life uh, pole stars and three are available right now over our heads. Um, B1133 uh, uh, plus 16, uh, B1237 plus 25 and uh, the 55. So hopefully once we uh, minus the reference point with the envelope we'll be able to see I hope we capture uh, Pulsar. If not, then we go to, you know, Plan Plan C or something like that. But uh, Plan B, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thanks, and uh, we'll let you know how it all works out.